Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to the Basenji place of Rogue State. I've just noticed recently that our income has dropped. Um, let's see. Armed forces have stayed about the same. I think it's because state intelligence services? Or maybe income's dropped. Very interesting. I don't like that income's dropped. Other than that, though, we're doing amazingly well. We'll take um, a quick general look quickest way to do it is policies to see what people think of us. 100% with the Patriots. Capitalists, 79% with the Fundamentalists, 100% with the Liberals. We are absolutely adored and loved. I do want to increase our military, but we need to save up some more. And Parliament absolutely loves us. We're getting bonuses for high public approval, Fundamentalist support, Capitalist support, Liberal support, Patriot support. Um, our new... Uh, Finance Minister Maran Faradin is not so happy with us because he wanted us to do something and we didn't. It was something that was unreasonable. We weren't going to be able to raise as much money as he wanted or whatever. Let's take a look at our uh, neighbors. Our neighbors love us. United States, on the, America's on the fence about us, but whatever. They supported the previous regime. Do we have any intel on these guys yet? No. I'm a little disappointed. We have our new intelligence operation up and running, and they haven't been able to find any intelligence on anybody. The only thing we know is that Americans like oil. Oh, a lot of our tourists come from America. Interesting. Or I should say the tourists that come to America. Or the Senji. Our place. Words hard. Dick hard. What? What? Terrible floods in Babelistan have claimed close to well over a thousand lives and destroyed property, livelihood, and infrastructure for over a hundred thousand square miles. The UN has asked for one billion United States dollars for emergency relief. Um, well, Babelistan, they helped us out with our revolution. We never would have got rid of the king if they hadn't supported us with arms and feet and legs, you know, weapons. So we're not going to say no to them, but we cannot afford to give them $100 million. That's too much. We're going to give them $25 million, That's a lot of money to help them with their terrible flooding. So far, we've really been humanitarians in this region. Oh, and they like that. The UN likes it, too. Patriots don't like it so much because they're like, fuck them. But, you know, we want to think about our neighbors. So let's see. All of our trade agreements have disappeared. Let us talk to... Uh... This is the guy who gave us really good deals before when we were selling goats and electronics. Thank you for taking my call. Do you have any issues? Oh, man. I don't remember what you were good at. Uh, you like the old ways. You don't like America. So you're not going to say the UN. Oh, but these old ways things are like, we don't want to fall in the way of the old ways. Let's just talk about trade. Would you like to buy some fucking goats? Are you interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we sell you Basenji goats? Taking into account our positive relationship, these are the terms we are prepared to agree to. All right, we'll take that. That's a good deal. 27 million. Um, would you like to buy... Some electronics too. Man, goats are so much worth so much more than electronics apparently. Are you interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we sell you Basenji electronics? Taking into account our positive relationship, these are the terms we are prepared to agree to. Eleven million are 120% of market rate? Man, it's because he loves us. I bet he has a poster of our guy over his bed and each night he like dreamily stares at it. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. He's like, oh, I hope you call again soon. Want a mustache ride? No, dude, I'm sporting the whole beard. Let's talk to Zara Bill. We want some textiles. We want garments. It's good for our economy. It helps our sweatshops. Thank you for taking my call. Um, Let's see. They're not too much money. How much for your garments? We are interested in negotiating a trade agreement where we purchase your garments. Taking into account our positive relationship, these are the terms we are prepared to agree to. Eight million per turn? Ah, excellent! Yeah, we're totally going to be on the plus side with the things we sold as opposed to what we bought. Goodbye, dude. Love you. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. I want to look out the windows and see if I can look down women's shirts. It's all right. Oops. 
That actually is interesting. Right there is our counterterrorism unit. Their job is to reduce the likelihood of terrorist events, which is good because our former um, finance minister died because of a terrorist attack. Let's see, Patriots approval. Well, their approval is going to continue to grow. There's dropped some over the last turn because we helped out our neighbors. Man, these guys just love us. All these 100% feels good. We're a little over halfway there. The UN has passed a landmark agreement requiring all states to cap carbon emissions at present levels, with the exception to China, India, the United States, and Burkina Faso, presumably because nobody, uh, because somebody forgot to add them to the list. While in balance, this agreement is anticipated to have de uh, demonst uh, demonstrable. Was it supposed to uh, demonstrate? Demonstrable impact in climate change? Apparently, I don't know words very well, but I don't care. I think we're going to ignore the law, the treaty. The reason I want to ignore the treaty is China, India, and the United States, and Burkina Faso get out. If the other countries get out, especially the biggest polluters, China and the United States, why should we have to honor it? Liberals might not like it, but... Well, they really didn't like that. But I'm not going to anger capitalists either. Capitalists, we take a look at our newspaper, are our biggest faction. They're the biggest drivers of the economy. We're not going to piss them off because of... Carbon emissions when other big countries aren't doing it. Cape Town Accord passes that the United Nations. Basenji refuses to sign on, noting the resolution is unfair. It is. 52% of our population is capitalist. That is awesome. Patriots and fundamentalists at the all-time low. Man, look at all these approval ratings. People love us. I love that. Man, super happy times. I think we're going to start saving up to get a tank to increase our military. Could oh, We could hire riot police. Riot police make sure there are no um, losses financially if there's a riot. We're going to do that. Things are very peaceful now. We have 94%, not 90 fur. It's not like a bunch of fur. Dog's like, I know all about fur. Let me tell you. Poop gets stuck in it. Yo. And a turn. Yo. A well-known American fast food chain wants to open it, its first franchise in the capital. There are concerns that Western cons consumerism will affect the moral fiber of our country. Oh, man. If we say no, the fundamentalists will like it. But the capitalists will not. We gotta keep the capitalists on our side. They're a way better faction. Plus, who doesn't want delicious fast food? I want a Wendy Spicy Chicken, please. Allow the fast food. Oh, America likes that, too. They're like, get fatter. And the fundamentalists didn't really care, so it worked out. Man, these guys love us. Think about it. Come on, capitalists. Look at all that American food in your gullet. Even you, fundamentalists, after you're done throwing grenades at goats and blowing that shit up, you can go get a Wendy's Junior Bank Cheeseburger. I want right one right now with a Frosty. This video brought to you by tastiness. Uh-oh. The uh-oh are these yellow lines. Uh, Babella stands. Relationships with Zarbil and Axtajan are fraying. And that isn't good. That is not good because we do not want war to break out in the region. We want everybody to be friends. Because as soon as war breaks out, both sides are going to start to get grumpy at us when we're nice to the other one. Plus, we're trading with some of those guys. If we look at our resources. We have Kashmir Manufacturing. Doubles the effect of sweatshops. How much is it for a tank procurement lady? Let's see, a tank is 120 million. We do not. I would want to have at least 240 in the bank before we safely do that. Rocket battery is 100. I want a defensive thing. A tank is more important for defense in this game. Thank you, ma'am. I really hope this region does not break out into war. I mean, we've been so peaceful with everybody. In a recent speech, you declared the establishment of a national unemployment insurance so that no Basin, uh, Basinji, and we've done that a couple times in a couple speeches, ever need fear losing their job. Our policy analysis have estimated that this will be a severe drain on our national treasury, amounting to $150 million and requiring $5 million a turn to maintain. Oh, we can say no to the promise lose loyalty but you know what we promised this twice i hope it doesn't bankrupt us 
but we're going to deliver it. There's going to be national unemployment insurance. We're going to deliver the promise. We have. This is why I was careful about the money in case something big happened. Patriots love it. I was hoping more people would. I was hoping a lot more people would love that because that's going to be a major drain on the economy. Oh, well. The plus side, though, right now is capitalists are plus 1% and turn in their 100%. Patriots are, too. Uh, liberals are at negative 1% as are fundamentalists, but they're still really high. We don't need to change any of our policies. I like that our homeless policy is we just move people out of the tourist areas. We just push them to the end of, edge of town and leave them there. Probably have giant slums out there. But that's alright. The people love us. Apparently even the people in the slums love us because there's fast food for them now. Unfortunately, that's going to delay us getting our tank. Quarry fee unemployment has climbed as high as 15%. If you remember, that is the minor subsection of our nation where they're a little culturally different. They're more religious, more fundamentalist, and they're a little ethnically different. It's dragging down the rest of your nation's economy. The people are looking to the government to provide a plan to address this crisis. Well, I could order my trade commissioners to prioritize Quarry fee exports exports over all others i could lower the tax rate there to attract foreign businesses or provide incentives for education in high demands fields i think we're gonna use our trade commissioner there because it's green i think that means it's best Ooh, quarifi approval increases hell yeah i wish they would finish the damn constitution uh oh this is not good excellency do you have a moment yes what is it our hospitals are filling with cases of a highly contagious new flu virus, labeled M2H1. That's not good! It kills one in four infected patients, and 341 deaths and almost a thousand new infections have been reported to date. The WHO is declaring the disease an epidemic with potential global repercussions. The transitional government must take first action to control panic, safeguard the economy, and adopt proactive policies to prevent the further spread of this disease. Where do we start? We need to stop migration to and from Bajinji. Shut down the borders at any cost. That will be devastating to our economy. We will need to ensure we have state-of-the-art research facilities available at our university, and hire the best doctors from overseas. That will be costly. And most importantly, we need to ensure the WHO gives us the resources we need to contain the outbreak. That means maintaining a good relationship with the UN. Anything else? Luck, Your Excellency. We will need some good luck. Damn it, we've got a disease! The goat fuckers brought it! Damn it, Tariq, why don't you ever bring me good news? Why don't you bring me the bacon cheese double cheeseburger? I hate you, Tariq! Alright, so we need to... Uh, to fight the epidemic, we need to build a university, hire the cantankerous genius doctor from America, close all borders for five turns. Oh my god, do we really? That's going to be horrible. And build a university. Um, ass. How long do we have? Is this like 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 turns apparently. Let's go to build infrastructure. Wait, how do I build universities? Prestigious university. So let's introduce an education policy. We have two choices. Um, one that allows faith-based education. Students are taught in a matter aligned with the tenements of the old ways. Religious leaders are consulted on curriculum planning, which will allow religious schools. Or we can have secular education. Which means no religious schools. That we're going to have no religious teachings in our schools. It's not allowed to teach for that. Oh, I don't know. If we allow religious schools, that's going to hurt us with the liberals. But then we can't build that. You know what? We're going to just go with secular education. And hopefully that will be sufficient. Next turn we can build a university. As we try and contain this mess, this disgusting disease people brought. A stingy unemployment on the rise. Government focuses to grow exports. That's going to be harder when the World Health, Health Organization um, is like, we've got a new crap disease here. 
Butts McGee. People are not going to like this when they start dying and blood starts shooting out of everything. The Senji faces a national health crisis. Obesity rates have been growing steadily ever since they introduced the first bacon double cheeseburgers to the capital. But those are delicious! I love those things! If nothing is done, our lifespans will shrink and healthcare costs will grow. God dang it, we can increase health education in schools, implement a national health fitness program. We don't have money for that. Let the people make their own decisions. We're going to tax unhealthy foods. I know the capitalists aren't going to like that, but hopefully it'll bring in some more money. Uh, Benji's citizens are increasingly identifying as fundamentalists. You know why? It's probably because they're watching everybody die of the plague, so they're turning to the old ways and God. They're like the burgers from the decadent westerners. God is punishing us. All right, so let us build our university. I almost built a sports stadium. That would have been embarrassing and bad. That would have been terrible for us. I meant to buy a university to help with the epidemic. Sort of bought a sports stadium. Sorry, dudes. Um, liberals aren't going to like us any more than they do because they like us at 100%. Um, if we look at the epidemic crisis, good. We have the university now. So we need the cantankerous genius doctor. And we need to close the borders for five turns. Oh, man. This is butts, McGee. Let's go read the paper. We're screwed, too, because we're running out of money for other things. New study, we're all getting fat. Fat booty, fat booty. Is that my booty? New tax measures proposed by the ministry. Look at that, we're more commercial. You can see that we got like, was it like a Range Rover, SUVs. Oh, but Senji Dog, what will we do? I know, it's roof, roof, it is. Man, I don't want to close the border with these guys. They're my friends. They're going to like me less. Excellent. See, our engineers were clearing the debris from the building destroyed in the revolution and discovered a cache of gold stored by the tyrant king. Estimates vary, but the gold is worth between 100 and 150 million. Add it to the treasury. That is a godsend. It's a good thing the old king was crooked and he kept money everywhere. See, see, fundamentalists, God does approve. Excellency, do you have Shut a up. moment? Yes, what is it? Because of N2H1's spread, the market for Bajinchi's exports have all but entirely collapsed. All our trade agreements have been suspended. Is there anything else we can do? Put an end to this disease, Excellency. It's all the global media is talking about. Thank God we made that money. Tariq, what are you doing? Get the fuck out of my office! You're gonna look at my butt again. You're always looking at my butt, Tariq. Don't you look! Do you see him look there? You saw his face look over. Alright, so we need to hire the cantankerous Dr. House from America. This doctor is not only the world's foremost expert in diagnostic medicine, but your best hope in finding a cure for any potentially deadly outbreaks. But can you stand his bedside manner? Up to God now, we don't need to build religious schools because we can't. We have hired the cantankerous old doctor, or a uh, doctor. Now we need to close the borders for five turns. I'm sorry, friends. I love you. Oh, man. If we... Re, uh, it's cool that we could hold regional peace talks if we had a good foreign minister. But we don't, because our brother Farouk, who wants to be in power still, is in charge. And he just upsets our plans. Attempt to broker an improvement in relations between this country and all countries in the conflict. I wish we could, but border control. I'm sorry, Babalistan. We love you. I'm sorry, Zabil. We love you. I'm sorry, Oxtajan. We love you. All right, the borders are closed, and we have to keep them closed for five turns to get rid of this ep epidemic. We've got the university. We've got the cantankerous American doctor. We've got the UN that is supporting us. God, what hard times we've fallen on, Tariq. I'm leaving here because you're creeping me out. I'm going to hang out with uh, Nadir Dad. Hey, what's up? How's the military like me? Excellency, the generals of your armed forces stand ready to execute your orders. Yay! How about executing my enemies? H2M1, huh? How's the morale? How is morale within our armed forces? If you don't mind me saying, the troops love you. They will follow your orders faithfully. Ah? 
They're awesome. I love them too. Thanks. That's all for now. Some Basijis, particularly in the Kwarif province, chew a tree sap resin known as bush tshtacha. As part of an ancient social custom, bush is a mild opiate oh, bush that induces euphoria and excitement that is legal in most of Africa and the Middle East. I want this. New evidence indicates that bush may be far more harmful for consumption than previously believed. Oh, watch out for those bushes, dudes. I'm looking into certain cancers and birth defects. Well, we can ban it, legalize it, but ban production and trafficking, regulate the production and impose a vice tax, or say, I don't see the problem, I'm using it now. You know, we're going to say we don't see a problem. We don't need to make the Quarifi mad. Uh, so what? They like to chew this stuff and get a little high? As long as they ain't hurting anybody, no problem. I'm using it too, bro. Ooh, the Quarifi like us even more. That is awesome. They're like, yeah, we like to party. He likes to party. We're losing a lot of money each turn right now because of having to close the borders. Oh, and war has broke out between Babelistan and Zarbil. And of course, we can't broker any kind of peace agreement, peace agreement because our foreign, foreign minister, our brother, doesn't want us to succeed. That sucks. Oh, well. Four more turns of this and the... Uh, We've closed all our borders. If we can survive four more turns of this, we'll be okay. It's going to be tight. Our economy is going to get drained. Hopefully, we don't have too many things that happen in between that we have to pay for. Either way, next time, we will see if we survive the epidemic crisis. I hope we do. We won't try not to disappoint you, but Senji, the old dog who founded the city, country. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for hanging out.